Ok. So, chapter 3 worksheet page number 9. Page number 9. So, page number 9 is lesson 4. So, we are today we are discussing the last lesson of chapter 3. Lesson number 4. What is the name of that lesson? Applications of electric field. Applications of electric fields i will just write like this so how many eot questions are there there are five eot questions from this lesson question number 10 question number 13 question number 14 question number 15 and the writing part question number three did you all find this worksheet students Okay, fine. So, first question, the electric field intensity between two large charged parallel plates is given by, the plates are 0 0.05 meter apart, what is the potential difference between them? Next question, a voltmeter reads 400 volt across two charged parallel plates. 0 0.02 meter apart, what is the magnitude of the electric field? Next question, what is the electric potential difference between two metal plates? Okay. The next question, when you apply a potential difference of 125 volt between two parallel plates? Yes. And the next question, you apply a potential difference of 275 volt between two parallel plates? That is. How large is the electric field? So, this question is very easy, okay? All the five questions are very easy questions. This question is talking about the electric field between two metal plates. For example, this is one metal plate, a, sh a sheet uh, recording, yeah, started. Okay, so this is a metal plate like this here another metal plate okay so we have two metal plate if one of the plate is we what uh, yeah uh, see all the questions okay first I am explaining how to solve all these five questions I am just giving the examples so this is a positively charged plate and this one is negatively charged plate, right? So there will be electric field, okay? If there are two electric charges, there will be electric field between the charge. What is the direction of the electric field from positive to negative or negative to positive? Very good. Electric field, direction of electric field is always from positive to negative okay so this is a parallel plate like two metal plates are kept parallel like this so there is electric field between these two plate this electric field is will it be uniform or non-uniform electric field is uniform what is the meaning of uniform? The strength of the electric field will be same everywhere, okay? The electric field strength here, 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 anywhere between the plates, the value of the electric field or the strength of the electric field is same. For example, I think in this room, the temperature will be almost the same everywhere in this room so i can say in this room there is a uniform temperature correct the temperature will be almost the same everywhere maybe near to the ac it will be different okay like that okay students do you understand the meaning of uniform okay then next day, uh, this is positive this is negative right 
positive means high voltage what is the meaning of positive ah uh, positive means high potential okay high potential or we uh, just we will say voltage okay high potential and uh, this is low potential which means there is a potential difference between this Th between this two plate there is a potential difference how do we represent the potential difference very good delta v potential difference is delta v okay then oh, what about the what about the distance like uh, there will be a distance between the plate right this plate are not together so there is a gap okay separation between the plate the separation between the plate we will represent by d okay so what is delta v very good potential difference delta v is potential difference okay another name for potential difference is voltage right another name for potential difference is voltage okay we say sometimes voltage what is the instrument or device used to measure potential difference we use voltmeter okay voltmeter to measure potential difference what is the si unit of potential difference yeah joule per coulomb correct okay it is called volt it is called volt volt capital letter v yes high potential positive is always high potential okay yeah low potential was it the meaning is like that okay meaning is not a positive and negative meaning is high and low when we say positive which means high when we say negative which means low okay then what is d very good slam distance between plates what is the unit of distance meter sometimes it will be given in centimeter so what will you do how a uh, by dividing dividing by it is lam dividing by 100 okay yes the next day how to calculate the electric field electric field is equal to potential difference so i will give you equation for the better i will give you equation for the potential difference okay delta v the potential difference between the plate that is equal to electric field between the plate into distance between the plate okay do you understand this equation what is delta v ah oh, okay 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 fine now students i will give you 5 minutes okay you can answer all the five questions in that 5 minutes i gave all the ingredients to solve that question all the strategies you can do that i will come back after 5 minutes is it fine or or do you want me to explain one question no need right okay yes yes always
of electric field is given right here e into d uh, potential difference volt okay potential difference unit volt we will represent by the capital letter v electric field unit newton per coulomb distance unit meter capital v Wait for two minutes. Okay, Islam. okay i i hope you have done so we will do this okay uh, yes uh, husun can you explain the first question how did you solve and uh, how much did you get the answer Okay, very good. The next two, Yara, can you explain 44?
400 divided by 0.02, right? Okay. So, yeah, 20,000, correct. Very good. Then next one. Uh, yes. Islam, 45. Uh, uh, how much did you get? Uh, okay. So in the next, in the second question, we are calculating the potential difference. Sorry, we are calculating the electric field, right? Okay. Okay, Mira, what, what are we calculating electric field, right? Okay. How much is the potential difference? Is it clear? Do you understand? No need to explain? Oh, okay, good. Islam, 45. Very good. Then next to Mira, can you explain the next one? Have you done that? Oh, okay. Uh, how much did you get? Okay, let me check my... Uh, okay, 0 .0, 0 0.03, right? Yes, very good. Correct. Yes? Five hundred. Okay, uh, the next day, Amna? Can you do the next question? Ahmed? Okay, you can do the next question, Ahmed. Uh, you changed that into uh, meter, right? 275 divided by uh, 0 0.0035, right? Okay, yeah, it's like uh, 80,000 or 7.86 into 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 4, right? Newton, yes. No, no, chat I cannot see because uh, my one phone is recording, yeah. Yeah, okay, no problem. Now it is working. Oh, Amna said, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, Amna, it's fine. You understand, right? So, yeah, Islam, if there is anything in the chat, you can tell, okay? Yes. The next day, capital V better because uh, capital V is the unit, joule per coulomb is correct, okay, not wrong, both are correct, but right V, okay, that is the name of the unit, joule per coulomb we have given a name, volt, okay, but both the units are correct. If you write anything, it's your answer is correct, not wrong. Okay, the next students, 
when a charge is going through an electric field do you understand why why charge is moving through electric field or going into an electric field because when a charge is going in an electric field the charge will get energy the charge will get energy so when a charge is moving through an electric field the charge will get energy how much energy the charge will get wait wait i am explaining to answer the next two questions okay then next next topic so first what we did uh, we did the potential difference right how to calculate the potential difference between two plates that we have done right what did you study in the last questions how to calculate the potential difference between two metal plates two metal parallel plates right ed correct ed okay then uh, this is electric field okay this was this is electric field so if i write energy also e you will be confused so, okay so i will i will write w okay so what is w means work work means energy both are same so when an elect when a electric charge is moving through an electric field the electric charge will get energy how much energy the charge multiplied potential difference delta v okay yeah the charge is the charge which is moving into the electric field test charge is okay so this is the charge that you are placed in an electric field it can be proton electron any other charged particle or alpha particle anything what is delta v voltage or potential difference what is w work or energy right energy work on the test charge or energy gained by the charge right energy gained by the charge what is the unit of work joule j what is the unit of charge coulomb c what is the unit of potential difference volt okay joule per coulomb okay can you answer the next five questions in five minutes next uh, not five questions yeah next five questions correct
इस आई इन विच क्वेश्चन ओके ओके इन फोर्टी नाइन what is the magnitude of the electric field between the, this is actually not for this uh, the, this one okay yeah first equation okay first one it should not be there right that question yeah okay 51 electric field in particle accelerator has a magnitude of this one yeah uh, 51 uh, what you can do is the same thing right how much work right so work you can calculate delta v is not given but uh, you can calculate delta v using this okay use this calculate delta v what 60 50 right yeah uh, that that's easy okay because voltage is given right then electron ah uh, your question is electron right electron so yeah electron charge of electron how much charge of electron i will write here charge of electron you must remember this okay charge of electron is equal to 1.6 it will be given in the exam right yeah what better you remember if you remember you don't Yeah, I like a constant. One point six times ten to the power minus nineteen. Now you remember this, right? No, no, multiply because you want to calculate what you want to calculate the work, right? What is the equation for work? Work is equal to charge multiplied potential difference. Potential difference is given in the question, right? 18000 volt what is the charge charge is charge of one electron electron is a charged particle okay so instead of q you can write this value no no first to 5 53 54 we have done in the last class right i will repeat okay Okay, so we will start one by one. Who soon can you explain forty eight? Very good, Yara. yeah you can uh, big numbers you can write in standard form okay scientific form so it will be 2.08 into 10 to the power 4 right okay fine good yes uh, question number 50 islam
yeah very good correct the next uh, 51 right how much No, no, 18 to 22 will not be because negative, right? Yeah, 18,000, right? 18,000 multiplied 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19, you did, right? Okay. Yeah, correct. Same answer, okay? Yeah, the next to 51. Uh, Mira, are you ready? Yeah, 51, okay. Question number 51. Oh, okay, okay. So, this is like there are uh, two steps, right? Uh, first, we need to calculate the potential difference, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, uh, yeah, into multiplied distance, right? So, distance is 0 0.25, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, 1.13 into 10 to the power 5, right? Okay. 51. Okay. 51. Yes. Then uh, Q same thing. Okay. For electron and proton same charge. Char what is charge of proton? Charge of proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Same charge. Okay. Yes. Correct. Electron is negative, proton is positive, but when you are calculating the work done, no need to use that. No, no, work has no direction, work is scalar. Yes. So, we will do question number 51. Here we will do. You can see, right? Okay. So, 51, what is given? Potential difference, not given. Electric field is given, right? Electric field, how much? 4.5 into 10 to the power 5. 4.5 times 10 to the power 5 Newton per coulomb. Distance given. 25 centimeter so I will write in meters 0 0.25 meter and anything else given yeah char charge of proton we know that it's a constant 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 is the charge okay so I will write charge is this we need to calculate the work done or energy and we know that work done is equal to charge multiplied potential difference here problem is potential difference is not given but electric field and distance given, so we know that how to calculate potential difference, right? So first we will calculate potential difference delta V that is equal to electric field into distance. Electric field is 4.5 into 10 to the power 5 into distance is 0 0.25. How much? Four point five into 10 to the power 5 into 0 0.25 okay 1.13 okay 1.13 into 10 to the power 5 right okay volt so now we know the voltage and we know the charge that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and voltage is 1.13 10 to the power 5 okay so the answer will be one point sorry answer will be 
multiplied 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 90. Yeah, 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 14. Okay. The next question. 52. 52. Uh, yeah, Ahmed can explain. I need, I need. Oh, no, okay. Uh, yeah, what's the answer? Uh, just to multiply, right? Uh, 12 multiplied. Uh, 12 multiplied 1.44 times 10 to the power 6. So the answer is 1.73 into 10 to the power 7, right? Okay. All of you got, right students? No need to explain. Okay. Then next day, that oil drop experiment that we have done in the last class. Okay. So what is that oil drop experiment? In the oil drop experiment, the oil has the oil drop has negative charge. Okay. Oil drop has negative charge. So here there are two metal plates, positive plate and negative plate. So there is a hole, through this hole oil drop will be falling. This oil drop has negative charge, okay. That we don't know, okay. How much negative charge that we don't know. Okay. So, when, when it is falling, for example, if there is no potential difference, okay, we didn't switch on the potential difference. Okay. Oil drop is falling. So, when it is falling through the air, right? Yeah. So, there are two forces will be acting on the oil drop now. One is force of gravity that is equal to mg. And the second force is drag force, Fd. Okay. Uh, if the oil drop is moving or if the oil drop is falling at a constant velocity, if the oil drop is falling at a constant velocity, which means drag force that is equal to mg, means upward force and downward force are equal. Yeah, because acceleration is zero, so net force is zero, means opposite forces are equal. And what is the name of this constant velocity? This constant velocity is called terminal velocity that you have studied in grade 9, terminal velocity. If an object is falling at a constant velocity, that velocity is called terminal velocity. If, a, if an object is in terminal velocity, upward force and downward force will be equal. The next thing, if we apply the potential difference here, uh, this oil drop will be attracted. And we know that drag force will act only if the object is moving. If the object is not moving, no drag force. For example, I am standing here, no air resistance for me. Air resistance will be acting when I am running. Correct? So, if the object is not moving, no drag force. But what happened is, if, the, uh, uh, if it is here, there will be an upward force because now it is positive. It means if there is electric field, so there will be electric force. Okay. Then, if the oil drop is suspended in the middle, means it is not moving then we can say the electric force is equal to force of gravity. What is electric force? 
electric force is electric charge into E that is equal to force of gravity. What is force of gravity? Mg. Okay. The next in some question, electric most of the question electric field will not be given. What will be given? The distance between the plate will be given and the potential difference will be given. So if you know the distance between the plate and the potential difference, you can calculate electric field, right? What is electric field? Potential difference divided by distance. Okay. You know this equation, right? E. Delta V is equal to E D. From this equation, you are writing this, okay? This equation comes from this equation, okay? Yes. So, this is the everything about the oil drop experiment. And uh, we have done question number 53, 54, yes? Correct. Correct. Okay. If E is not given, you will calculate E from this, right? Okay. Fine. So, I will... Uh, which one? Yeah. Q, like you can use shift to solve. Okay. If you want, you can use shift to solve. Or this E will go to the denominator. So, Mg divided by E. Is it clear? So, I will tick 55, we have done, 56, we have done, 53, 54 done already, like we have done in the last worksheet, okay? Yeah, capacitors, uh, we will end the class now, but I will just tell the equation for the capacitor, okay? Okay. So, what is the equation for the capacitor? Capacitor is a device used to store electric charge. When it is store electric charge, it is actually storing electrical energy. So, we can say capacitor store electrical energy. One plate of the capacitor, capacitor will have two plate, okay? Two metal plate like this. One plate of the capacitor will store positive charge and other plate will store negative charge. So, there will be potential difference between the two plates in the capacitor, right? Why there is potential difference? Because the capacitor is storing electric charge. Okay. The next day, how much electric charge the capacitor will store? The capacitor will store the electric charge that is equal to C into delta V. What is C? C is called capacitance. Capacitance means how much it can store, how much it can store its capacity. For example, how much water this bottle can store? Ah, this is a small one, okay, it is 500 ml. So, 0 0.5 liter, right? Okay, this, why did you say milliliter? Because very less water. <laughs> That's why. Okay, so 0 0.5 liter it can store. So that is its capacity, right? Okay. That is the capacity of the bottle. Like that, a capacitor, every capacitor will have its capacitance, means its ability to store electric charge. That is called the capacitance. What is the unit of capacitance? Unit of capacitance is Farad. Farad, yes, F capital. But one Farad means big value, okay? One Farad is big value. Capacitor will not, uh, there will not be any capacitor. It can store one Farad like that, okay? So, yeah, we usually use microfarad. What is microfarad? 10 minus 6 farad right 
और या यू मस्ट कन्वर्ट ओके पाइको फैरड टेन टू द पावर माइनस ट्वेल्व फैरड ओके सो इफ दे आस्क कैलकुलेट इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज यू विल यूज दिस इक्वेशन डायरेक्टली If they ask a calculate capacitance, you can use shift to solve or rewrite the equation. Okay. Very good. If they ask a delta V, Q over C. Yeah, the, the, yes, yes, that is correct. Because if I write capacitance, that is equal to what is the equation? Charge divided by delta V, right? So, what is the unit of charge? Coulomb. What is the unit of delta V? Volt. V. Yeah, okay. Coulomb per volt. Okay. That is called farad. The unit of capacitance is coulomb per volt, but it is called farad. Okay. Okay, students. We will end the meeting. See you tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then uh, one more thing. Uh, we will go to the uh, previous page. Okay. Page number six. Can you go to page number six? Lesson three, right? Uh, question number twenty-four. We have done, right? You remember? Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. We have done right. You remember that table, right? Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Done. Okay, so we have finished. Uh, this questions done. Thirty, thirty-one. All done, right? Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So uh, lesson three and lesson four almost done. Okay. Lesson four, the only the questions of capacitance remaining. Okay, so maybe uh, tomorrow I hope we can complete this one. Okay, so I will end the meeting. What? Previous exam questions, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, I have one paper. Do you have more papers? Okay, you send it in the group. So we will solve that all. Okay, thank you.